What's going on guys? Concussion here. I'm over here on the Android server on my main account, getting ready to do some Labyrinth. I hope everybody's having a great day and let's get right into it. The teams I'm, I'm the team that I'm running on Labyrinth today will be this team. The design of this team is to keep these three heroes alive. Get get these three heroes healing and then have Pumpkin Duke build up his stacks in the meantime so I can run over comps. Okay, I keep Skull Knight in the back because you guys didn't know this, when you have Skull Knight at the front and they're running Ares, if your Skull Knight runs up there and the Ares is up there, the Ares is going to proc a lot faster because Skull Knight will be up there a lot quicker than these three heroes. These three heroes right here are slower and they are tanks. I, at least I, ha I have these two right here are natural tanks. Valentina, I have geared, I have her set up to be a tank. I have Artica in there to remove other Pumpkin Duke buffs. You gotta make sure you're using Pumpkin Duke in the Labyrinth. And the reason why is because you can keep your heroes alive a lot easier in the Labyrinth. Because you can have nine heroes. So, your Pumpkin Duke stays alive a lot easier on this. And if he gets max speed, well, if your team gets max speed first then the enemy is in trouble. So I run Valentina to get him proccing right away and everybody else. Cupid only gives energy to a limited number of enemies. Valentina gives energy to everybody in her circle. That's why I'm running her. Valentina gives a lot more energy and she gives it over time. Okay, so let's get right into it. Showing, ah, you can't do that, buddy. You gotta have all your heroes on your team. Well, this should be an easy win. His Anubis is only level 120, and he's running a Minotaur, which is a big mistake. Minotaur's not that great on here, guys. I don't recommend it. Alright, let's whoop his butt. Aw, oh, only single evolve, too. I got double evolved heroes, buddy. There you go. You know who won. That's right. Me. Oh, what this guy's running. Easy. Oh, oh my gosh. This should be so easy. Get smoked. Get smoked, my man. My Anubis doesn't care. You really think you can prevent him from destroying your team? When you only have single evolved heroes and you're missing a hero. Oh, okay. Now this looks like a challenge, guys. Like the video. I need your luck. See, he knows what he's doing. He's running Pumpkin Duke. He's running Valentina. He's running all the right heroes. All right, guys. Wish me luck. Here I go. Come on. I need my Ares to proc after his Valentina. Okay, come on. We got this. We're getting it, guys. Go! Destroy! That's what I'm talking about. What a good fight. Oh, we got another tough one here. Come on. Take him out. Valproc. Valproc. Trixie, come on. Remove his buffs. Bam. Alright. GG. We got this one. Now my goal is to get to floor... My goal is to get... Past floor seven and beat my re my previous record. Right now my record is seven, so wish me luck, guys. Hopefully I can do it. Now the only comps that run over this comp are comps that run Pumpkin Duke and Gunslinger and similar heroes to what I'm running. So those are the ones you guys gotta watch out for. Make sure you are putting Pumpkin Duke on your team. Don't underestimate Pumpkin Duke. Everybody runs Pumpkin Duke now, ever, ever since people figured this out. See, look, I got ran over. Gosh dang it, man. No, I do not want an instant kill. This is only the first floor, I'll work it out. Yep, Gunslinger. This might be a lose for me. My Valentina could- okay, there we go. Now we're gonna win. Let's get him, boys. Come on! Don't kill me, stupid Ares. Get the gunslinger. Get him. Gunslinger down, boys. That's a W. Alright, time to take this noob out. 
Aw, single evolved heroes. Let's try a challenge's box. Let's see what he does. Deals damage to three nearby enemy heroes and decreases their attack and damage received. This goblin reflect look. This goblin reflects some damage and is immune to silent stun and energy reduction. Okay, let's see. If I beat this my first time, I get three of these. This damage to three enemy heroes increases their. This is the one with. Guys, this is the one that has the minions. This is a pretty tough one to beat. So I'm going to be running Anubis. Him, him. Trixie, Michael. Artica. Phantom King. Valentina. And... Let's take Michael. No. Shoot, guys. What should I do? Honestly, let's take... Hmm, I have to have my Multanica in there, because my Multanica has 6 of 8 Scatter. Okay, so let me explain something. The reason I'm using Scatter is because he has minions, too. Alright, and you gotta scatter those minions. If they proc, your toast. I gotta keep my heroes alive. Dang it, what should I replace? Fingers crossed. I don't know, guys. I do not know. I mean, we need as much DPS as we can get for this stupid thing. I have to run... Okay, let's see. Survival first. I mean, Anubis is gonna do a lot of damage. And decrease. Yeah, I think I need to be using Anubis. And I think I'm going to use... You gotta have her in there for heals. I'm gonna take... Trixie out? Yeah, I'm gonna take Trixie out. And I'm gonna put in... Who should I put in, guys? I got I gotta put in my druid. It's got six of eight scatter. Alright, let's do this. Fingers crossed. Let's go. Is this the one with the what? I think my skull and I can take him out. Maybe. Come on, guys. Don't let me down. Pray for Joel. Hashtag pray for Joel. This guy hits like a truck. Looks like my heroes are gonna stay alive. Guys, I think I got this. Man, though, gave me a heart attack for a second. What a... Yeah, I think that matches his description. He's a greedy goblin. He, he chooses damage over health. He doesn't care about his life. He just wants to destroy other people's. That's nice. That's a very... That's that's a very nice way to treat... To treat your... Your opponents. Just, you know... Just... Just kill them no matter what. Even if you kill yourself. I mean... That sounds nice, right? No. It does not. Okay. See if we can win some more. Demo Gorgon. Alright, now that Demo looks strong, but all of his heroes are 120. This guy does not know what he's doing, guys. Do not equally level up your heroes. Focus on heroes. Always focus. Focus on one hero at a time. That's what you always do. Why wouldn't you have a Demo maxed out? Criminy, man. Why are you running Immortep and Death Knight? That's just dumb. I'm gonna w wipe his team out, guys. As long as that demo isn't double evolved, I don't think I'm going to have any problems. Alright, let's get into it. Yep, this should be easy. Artica proc, perfection. There we go. Let's get right in the next one.
You guys excited for Christmas? I'm pretty excited for Christmas. I'm going to be getting a gaming tablet that I'm going to probably start using on my gaming channel for Christmas. Dang it, no, don't! Come on, Skull Knight. Clutch up. Skull Knight! <laughs> Not looking good, guys. I've been getting cheese lately on this stinking labyrinth. I need... I need, I need some luck in the chat. Wish me luck, guys. Come on. Please, Jesus. Please, Jesus. Easy. Alright, now if we can win the rest of these in here, I think we should be fine. Fingers crossed. Come on. Got the Arctic proc, the Valentina proc. Perfect timing. He got the Aries proc first, guys, but... My Valentina propped after, which is a miracle. If that happens, that pretty much means you win. Okay, I'm just gonna hit you guys at that. If, if, if that happens, you win. That's all there is to it. This guy should be... See, that, See, why was I getting... This is, just seems so unbalanced. IgG needs to fix this this labyrinth. It, it really needs some fixing because it's not balanced. I mean, you go from fighting a full double evolve squad with a gunslinger to fighting a guy with unevolved heroes. It's like it's all luck. I mean, if I can get a perfect score after this, if I can get this perfect, one, two, three, four, guys, I'm screwed. Unless I refresh. Okay, I'm refreshing. Let's go. I had to refresh, guys. Sorry. I just wasn't I just wasn't getting lucky. Alright. Hopefully we can pull off some wins now. Looking good, looking good. With you really Anubis helps so much on this labyrinth, like if you have Anubis, you guys know. In long battles, he is just the best. I mean, his proc is just so devastating. And yet, he's really tanky if you put a bulwark on him. I definitely recommend bulwark more than all the other talents. I know everybody says war god. It just, it just doesn't statistically make as much sense. Bulwark gives a better stat boost. And Anubis has both health and damage. It just doesn't make sense to go war god. It makes, it makes more sense to go with bulwark. So, keep that in mind. If you have an Anubis and you're looking for a talent, take it from me. Take, take Bulwark. Ah, perfection. I killed the Skull Knight. See, sometimes, guys, you win and sometimes you lose. That's all there is to it. The question is, why do you win and why do you lose? So, I guess there's more to it than that. So. Okay, there we go. We got the Arctic proc. Got Pumpkin Duke Speed. Yes! Crush him! That's right. Eat my dust. Eat it. Paladin? Well, this guy's gonna die. Rip. Rip and pepperonis for my man over here. Ripperoni. <laughs> looking good, looking good. See if we can get to floors. Oh my gosh. See, guys? You see how unbalanced this is? This really needs to be fixed. Like, what the heck? You guys are still watching i really appreciate it thanks for watching the video if you enjoy the video please do click that like button that would help my channel out a ton my family still hasn't set up our christmas tree yet we're gonna get to it hopefully soon, though. You know what they say? It's the most wonderful time of the year. You know that's what they say, right? 
answer me! Okay. Smash him! No mercy! Oh my, this, this is just so easy, guys. I mean, c comparing this from last time, I mean, look how easy this is. I mean, come on, showing 120 heroes? Guys, I think I'm on to something. I think I'm figuring out something. Okay, let's just see what level. Okay. So if you go to a one of these guys, their heroes range from 180 to 200. Okay. Now, this person right here, he's a real player, okay? But let me tell you something. His heroes, I bet, are not all this level. What I'm thinking is I'm thinking that IGG keep the heroes and then they label everybody as one of these guys. And depending on which one they are depends on what level they are. Like these are going to be higher level. This right here. This right here. These are going to be easier. These are going to be like medium level to hard. To really hard. I don't know. I think I might be onto something here, guys. But arena really, I mean, I mean, labyrinth really needs some some balancing to it. I mean, this just isn't balanced. This isn't fair. How far are you guys gotten the labyrinth? Tell everybody in the comments what level you've gotten to. My my best so far is floor seven. And that was before my Anubis was Devo in level 200, which says something. I mean, if my Anubis is level 200 Devo now, and I'm not doing as good as what I was doing before he was that, something's going on, guys. I mean, Labyrinth just is not balanced. It's like it's luck. I mean, look at me now. I'm kicking butt and taking names. We're doing pretty good over here. <laughs> Aw, oh, see, this is what kept happening to me last time. I kept getting teams like this. Come on, wipe them out. I mean, we got the Ares proc. We're looking good. See, you guys, look. We're tough. We're just not always the luckiest of guys. Okay, next floor. What's it gonna be? We got one of these guys. Okay, so I'm thinking that these guys are all Evo. One of them might be Devo. Yep. That's what I was thinking. I kind of see a pattern here, guys. I really do. I feel like the levels and the double evolved and the evolved is ranged, but the heroes that the person is using, IGG, they copy them. They copy that. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. <laughs> I can be kind of confusing sometimes. But I, but I hope... Dang it! You see, you see what I'm saying, guys? Like, how do you go from that quickly to fighting, like, just evolved, unevolved heroes to fighting a team like that? It just doesn't seem right. I mean, we just wiped that team out like a piece of cake. See what we can do here. Like, yeah, we're, we're just wiping. We're just now. We're just, you know, just destroying everything. I better not run out of stamina. If I do, guys, I am not going to be a happy man. I feel like I'm just getting them lucky over and over again. All right. So what I need to pray for is. Okay, so let me think. One, two, five stamina, get ten. One, two, four. I can gain one stamina if I beat this battle. But it's gonna be a risk. We're gonna have to take it. Uh oh, guys. We might have made a mistake. This is the moment of truth. If I lose this battle, that's it. Like, guys, that's it for Labyrinth. We're done. So wish me luck. 
come on. No. Yes. No. Yes, no! Well, let's see if we can beat up a boss for you in the video. Sorry I let you guys down. I mean, I tried. The game just wasn't on my side today. There'll be better days. You win some, you lose some. You gotta accept that. Let's see, what does this goblin do? Deals massive damage to minions and increases their attack and attack speed. So he's like a pumpkin duke. Effect is non-removable. Immune to... to immune to silence and stun. He's not immune to energy reduction. Goblin minions take very little damage and any conditions on them will also be removed once they are attacked. So let's see. I, mean, I think this is the setup to run right here. Here we go guys. One, two, three. Yep, this is the one I was telling you guys about earlier. I'm gonna tank with my Goom, because my Goom's a boss of a tank. Look! He's the one taking most of the beating, and he's not going down as much as everybody else. If, if you don't have a Stone Skin Goom, I definitely recommend that as his number one talent. Definitely his best talent, okay? So if you don't have one, get one. That simple. The second best talent for Goom, in my opinion, is Borg, so... If, if you can't roll a stone skin, and you, or if you already have a bulwark, keep the bulwark. Bulwark is obviously an excellent choice. I mean, he has high health, and he does... Oh, come on! Ooh, that was close, man. If we would have lost my druid there, I think we would have been toast. Keep those fingers crossed, guys. I lost to this thing last time I tried it. I'm just gonna warn you. I got, okay, you see that there was one Harpy Queen left, and her health was like all the way down to where my mouse is, and I, when the time ran out. That's how bad it was. Oh, son of a gun. What are my heroes doing going to the end? What? Oh, I lost my druid, guys. Well, the imp's dead. But we don't have a druid anymore that's buffing, so I might lose this. Now, if you're wondering why my pumpkin duke is tanking like a boss, that's because I have a level 4 life drain crest on him so he can self-sustain. I definitely recommend that for some things. Life drain is not a bad talent, it's just not the best. You know, go go berserk on your main talent for your pumpkin duke. Even if, like, you ha if you have, like, an 8 of 8 revive or an 8 of 8 life drain, and you roll a 5-8 Berserk, and your Pumpkin Duke is like double evolved or something, I don't care how much fame you spent on that talent, you gotta, I mean, you can't keep, you cannot keep an 8 of 8 revive or and stuff like that for a, and get rid of a Berserk. That's just not what you do. You keep the Berserk, you put it on your Pumpkin Duke, you replace the 8 of 8 revive or whatever it is you got. Alright? That's what you do. At least if he's really leveled up. Guys, it's getting down to the bar. Can we get it? Come on. If we win it our first time, you guys know we get a bonus, right? I mean, guys, this is going to be down to like one second. Just like, we're going to win. We got this. Come on. It's going to be right down to the bar. But we're going to win. I have faith, guys. Come on. Please. Please, Jesus. Click that like button right now. Click it. Click it. Click, click, clickety, clack. If you did watch the video all the way up to here, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And if you haven't already, subscribe. See you guys.